Hello and welcome to the introduction to the True Story stamp set and True Story dies. This is a really fun bundle if you're a book lover or you want to give a card to a book lover. All these dies act as books, like you're looking at them on a bookshelf, like the spine of a book, and you got different heights, different thicknesses, and then you have all these different dies that you can zhuzh up the spine of your book. Here's a long scripty hello. Uh, so it acts as a card, but it also looks like a book. So I've die cut the dies here to show you. I used a lot of different Concord Knight solid color cardstock. You can see the different designs and how it kind of comes together. This particular one here, I ran through the charming embossing folder. So you could also emboss the spine of your book to get some textural. Here's that scripty hello, which I did out of matte gold. And then you can also use the stamp set. Here is the long vine. That is one of the dies, which I die cut out of lemongrass cardstock. And then these tiny little florals, you can just accent those here and there as you will. There's a little flower uh, in the die set, like a stem with some different buds that you can build in different colors. You can add those. Um, and then there's these two different square dies that create squares to add more detail to the spine of your card. So some cut the inner and then others give you the outer. And then this one here gives you little line details as well that are over here. I'll show you these teeny tiny little lines and you can just add those just more detail to the spine of your book. There's some florals and then, um, you can also use the stamp set, like I stamp friendship uh, and love, gratitude, celebration. I did celebration here on honeysuckle, stamped it with honeysuckle. There's little scallop details and little teardrop details. Here's a diamond that's part of the die set. Put that down the spine of a book. And now this die right here is what you're going to use to create your shape card, which I will demonstrate that in a minute. But first I want to take a closer look at the stamp set. You have celebration, gratitude, love, and friendship. My heart hurts for you. Cheers to another year. A new chapter in your happily ever after. It's a good day to have a good day. Kind people are my kind of people. And then you have little ones, party, party, party. Oh, happy day. Uh, thanks so much. Let's eat cake. All the feels. Have a great day. You're the best. So much love. So happy for you. You're the best. Uh, the great book of, and then you compare that with those larger sentiments. Here's thinking of you. Celebrate. Hello. Grateful. You did it. True story. Hip, hip, hooray. Then a few little details that you can add. You can stamp those to the spine of your book to add just more detail. However your imagination can think of it, you can create it. Okay, now I want to show you how to create a shape card. So first I have a side fold A2 white card base. And I'll take this die and I just line it up to the top. So you flip it over and you just line up to the top of your side fold card. Make sure it's a side fold. And I'm going to take this off camera run it through my die cutting machine. I did use a metal shim because I was cutting through two layers, an entire card base, but now you have this um, base to create like a bookshelf looking shape card. So I'm just gonna start adhering my die cut books. I accidentally adhered this one first. You can see how it's not long enough down on the bottom. I wasn't paying attention to that, but I'll correct it here in a minute. I'm using liquid glue. You could also use tape runner or score tape, however you want to adhere your books, and they fit perfectly. You just got to make sure you've got the right book for the right spot. Make sure it's tall enough and wide enough to fit in that spot. Here I'm correcting the first book, putting some more glue down to make sure I have the one that fits the length of it. Okay, so I used grapefruit, poppy, this one here is that sorbet strip, which I ran through the embossing folder. And here is Frank the cat. You can't make this up, people. Frank decides to hop up whenever he does. I pick him up, I throw him down, and he hops right back up because I'm working right in front of a window and sometimes he just wants attention. So there's Frank saying hi. Oh my goodness. 
I apologize for the kitty cat interruption, but I assume a lot of you probably enjoyed it. Okay, so here's your book shape card. Look at how fun and easy that is. And now you can just zhuzh it up. So here's a couple cards that I've created using the True Story stamp set and True Story dies. This is the one I showed you here and I add all the details. I stamped the Great Book of Love over on the right side, added uh, a vine on top of that embossed book with a few enamel dots. And um, then this one has the square. So much love, all the feels. And then this card is more of the cool tone. So I did that charming embossing folder on the background with uh, blue books. I added that scripty hello out of matte gold. And that is the introduction to the True Story Stampin' Dies. Mm -hmm.